scorecard, cheat code 5.4b. What are we talking about? So represent and solve multi-step problems. We have to know order of operations. Multi-step problems. Do you multiply? Do you add, subtract, divide? What do you do first? Ah! Involving all four operations with whole numbers using equations and a letter. So that's the variable, okay? So an unknown quantity is vocab, a value in the equation that is missing. So it's going to be represented, a lot of times it's an X, sometimes it's a P or an N or a letter. It's just, it represents a missing number. And then a variable, okay, similar to an unknown quantity, a symbol for a number we don't know yet. It's usually like the letter X or Y. PIMDAS! Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. She's crazy. <laughs> this is the acronym to help you remember what order to operations to use. So you want to do parentheses or groupings first. Exponents, we're not, we're not worried about that. That's sixth grade, okay? But it still makes sense if, you know, PEMDAS next year, you're going to use PEMDAS again. Parentheses, then multiplication, then division, then addition, then subtraction. If you do the problem, if you solve the problem in this order, you got no issues. You'll be good. So number one, Rebecca is planning a dinner for 24 people. She wants to make three tacos for each person. Taco shells come in packages. They're sold in packages of 12. Which of the following equations can be used to find P? Look, just a random letter, okay? P for package. Uh, the number of packages of taco shells needed for the dinner. Okay, well, first let's figure out how many tacos, right? So tacos, 24 times 3. 24 times 3 is 12, 1, 6, 72 tacos. She needs to make 72 tacos. And we want to divide that by 12, right? Because we know 12 shells come in a box. So let's do that. So it's 72 divided by 12. So check this out. 24 times 3 divided by... 12 equals P packages. That's it. That's our question. We're going to divide by the packages. There we go. A is our answer. Reba is making tacos. This is the exact same question. I just wanted to show you, and maybe it's going to be shown in a different type of formatting. Okay? She makes 24 tacos, three tacos per person. They're sold in 12. Uh, the shells are sold in boxes of 12. 24 times 3 divided by 12. Okay. Number 3. A mechanic repaired 28 cars and 46 trucks last month. He spent two hours repairing each of these vehicles. Look, two each. So the same number of time, the same amount of time for each of the cars and the trucks. Which equation can be used to find H, hours, the total number of hours the mechanic spent repairing these vehicles. So it's the same for cars and trucks. Well, how many vehicles total? So let's add 28 plus 46. 8 and 6 is 14 plus 1. 74, right? And then 74 times 2 hours times 2 equals H. 28 plus 46. Oh, look, this is all the same, right? So that's good. Are we going to divide by 2? No, we're not dividing by 2. We're timesing. We're multiplying by 2 because each car, each is a great word for, for, for multiplication and for division. In this case, we're multiplying because it didn't take 74 hours. It took 74 hours times 2 because each car was two hours. So, C was our answer, is our answer. Nola had 124 sheets of paper, of colored paper. She used 20 sheets to take a picture, to, to make a picture. Okay, so 20. She used all the remaining sheets to make four posters. Okay, whoa. Slow down. So let's say, 124 minus 20. She used minus 20, right? So that leaves us with 
four, zero, 104 left. She used the remaining 104 to make four posters. She used the same number of sheets to make each poster. Okay, so there's four posters, 104 divided by four, uh, two, two times four is eight, two, okay, 24, so 26. 24 divided by four is six, 26. All right, so 124 minus 20, here it is. So we know that's wrong and that's wrong because she had total. This is total. She has started with 124. She subtracted 20 for the picture, and then she made four posters with the 104 papers. Divided by four because there's four different posters. So this, this cheat code is all about, you don't even have to do the math. You just have to understand how to get the answer. You have to understand how the numbers go together, and you, you need to know which operation to use. So two more questions. Pedro ordered 24 boxes of baseballs. Each box contains 16 baseballs. Pedro used eight of these baseballs during a game. Which equation could be used to find B for baseball? The total number of these baseballs Pedro did not, did not use during the game. So this is how many he has left over. 24 times 16, right? 24 times 16 equals baseballs total. And then he used eight of these. So then we have B total. So what's 24 times 16? Then we're going to subtract. This is the T for total right here. Minus eight equals baseball. And with the lowercase, because that's the question, All right? B. 24 times 16, okay, check this out, check this out. Perfect, so A is wrong, C is wrong. And then are we subtracting eight or adding eight? Look, we're subtracting eight. Here we are, bingo. That's what we need. He used eight, so how many did he not use? Well, he, he did not use a lot, a lot of baseballs. Okay, last question. This equation can be used to find B, the number of dollars uh, that Mrs. Colton earned as a sales bonus last week. Bonus, right, B for bonus, equals 429 minus 39 times 9. What was the amount of Mrs. Colton's bonus? Whoa. Remember PEMDAS, parentheses, first. We've got to do the parentheses first. So. 39 times 9. 9 times 9 is 81. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 8. So 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Use your fingers. That's okay. 351. So now we have 429 minus 351. So let's just do that right here. 351. 9 minus 1 is 8, borrow from the 4, so we have 3 minus 3 is 0, 12 minus 5 is 7, 78. $78 was her bonus last week. Awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.